take two. Cigar assessor <laughs> Rob, is that what you're going to say? <laughs> and I'm Rob the Cigar Assessor. And today, we are going to review the Diamond Crown Maduro number four Toro. I've never had the cigar. My, me neither. <laughs> me neither, that's good. I'm excited. Yeah. I have had the natural, I like the natural. So this, uh, Dark chocolate stick has a Connecticut broadleaf, which is what I, I love broadleaf. Yeah, you I love do. Pennsylvania, Connecticut. And the filler and binder is from the Dominican Republic. So, <laughs> so you should be expecting a more mild smoke then. Well, it's a little bit of sweetness. Definitely some sweetness. The smell is incredible. The smell is great on this wrapper. I'm not going to lie. It's like a... Uh, Feet cheese. <laughs> I was going to say a dirty barnyard, it yeah. is. It's like a, a fermented barnyard. Right nostril, I'm getting uh, a little cocoa, a little sweetness. Yeah, hay and cocoa. Yeah. Left nostril is pure hay. Well constructed. Minimal vantage. It looks like it's going to be a good, a good day. And you can see, I mean, that's a really dark Maduro. You can see the end of it. The difference between the filler and the Maduro wrapper, that's a dark Maduro. All right, I'm going to use my Lamborghini. And I got my Zycar two piece. So, uh, we decided to change it up again and go back to the uh, the, the, diff the uh, other table we used. Yeah, what a great cat. Yes, back to, and look, I can put it on my head. Like, I'm like, yeah, give it to that guy over there. Oh, here you go. Here's your young one. I don't need another one. I already have like 12 at home. <laughs> Are they bedazzled? No. <laughs> I'm not a flashy Jew. I'm not a Jap. I'm not a Jewish American princess. Oh! Back in my day, Jap was another thing. <laughs> <laughs> Very open draw. And as Robert was saying, before I really interrupted, we did go back to this format. You guys let us know whether you like this table more than the low table. But we were just tired of, you know, looking up at you guys all the time. It's just like this. And now we get to just look right into your eyes. Right here, right here. Look at that. Right here. Thank you, Barney Stinson. You're welcome. You actually get a different draw when you draw from the other one. Really? A different flavor. More of a, you can taste it. Oh, yeah. This is a little more pepper, a little more spice, and this is just more of the hay and Kind of cherry chocolate. I'm getting the opposite. Really? I'm getting more spice and more hay. What do you what are you? Well, no, more spice and hay off the bat. Yeah. Yes, that's what I meant. Oh, okay. And then yeah. more just pure flavor. No, no, spice off this. Really? Yeah. I'm no, getting a little more like uh, cocoa notes on the back and a little more hay on the front. So Apparently, yeah. I'm fucked up. Three different, three different opinions. <laughs> that's that's what cigar. <laughs> all of them are assholes. Right. That's what cigar <laughs> smoking's all about. That's why you have to find the cigars for your pal. Yep, absolutely. Well, ain't nothing to it, but you do it. That's right. <laughs> Let's do it. And don't chew it. Oh, wow. I should have filled my lighter before this review. Look at that. Oh, there we go. There's always some life in Zygar. Oh, thank you. In case okay. you guys didn't know, we also have butane here. <laughs> and I'm using my... Zycar! <laughs> You taste good. Empty lighter, bad. And I just—I don't—I forget the name of this lighter for some reason. So is that the? Uh, oh, I don't know which one that is. Just toast this up. I can already smell your cigar. It smells great. It's a medium cedar I'm getting. But it's nice. Yeah, very complex cigar. Medium cedar, and I'm getting a uh, and it's like cocoa back in. Very good draw though for, for the start of the cigar. Yeah, nice open draw. Nice smoke output. Mm -hmm. And a really uh, balanced flavor. There's like a slight pepper, and it's not overwhelming. The cedar's there and, and that little cocoa, it's a very, very nice start. I'm excited to see how the cigar evolves because uh, 
The cigar starts as good, it's normally a pretty good sign. And I'm excited to taste how this cigar falls. What did I say? Sweet. <laughs> I'm a Darwinist, and I want to see this cigar blossom into a beautiful flower, Robert, <laughs> because I believe that cigars can evolve because they are living plants, even though they are chopped up and dead and dried. They're still living. Cigars have feelings too, you know. They're still living. You know that. Cigars have feelings. Oh, gosh. Bad pun is bad. <laughs> oh, boy. It's going to be one of those days. Yes, it is. All right, members and guests. Well, we'll come back when we're midway through tasting this beautiful cigar. Yes, sir. Robert, anything else we should add before we cut to the commercial break? Let's cut to a commercial break and come back when we're halfway through. Okay. Joke of the week. Looking forward to it. I don't know what it's going to be yet, but as always, I'm sure it'll be something awful. <laughs> <laughs> we are live here at 888, midway through this midway Diamond Crown Maduro number four. And I tapped off the ash. The ash was holding, oh, it's, I can't pick it up now, but it's holding very nicely. And uh, I tapped it off because I didn't want to fall on the. You tapped that ash, right? I tapped that, tapped that ash. That ash. Tapped that ash. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm rather impressed with this uh, Dominican smoke for its flavor. Uh, Dominicans, I think maybe because I smoke Nicaraguan cigars so much, tend to have like more of a flat profile. Uh, it was interesting, in between these segments, there was a heavy spice, and we we're all trying to put a name to it. And the best thing we can describe is either a dry cinnamon or a dry cayenne pepper without the flavor of cayenne pepper, but the spice of it. Um, as of right now, I'm getting leather tones and more of a uh, 21st draft bitter cocoa. We'll be right back. <laughs> like Robert said, we are back from commercial break. Um, if you go back into what I was talking about, now at this point, just getting a leather tone, bitter cocoa, and a good cigar. Though. I'm impressed. Yeah, I started off a little mildly spicy, a um, little leather. Uh, it kind of dried out, dried my mouth for a while there. And uh, that was that dry cinnamon. And it just. I don't know, it's kind of, it's not a bad cigar um, so far, but when you start looking at the price point and what you're getting. And, and I hate to, I hate to say this, I might get in trouble for saying this. Is there not that ashy flavor I keep talking about in the cigar? I haven't done it yet, but it, it's very like, dry. Yeah, it's just this flat, you know, it's one of those cigars that it start off super sweet cedar tones, and the leather tone is still there, but... I agree with you. I find myself sipping water a lot. Maybe they designed this to be a cigar that makes you thirsty. Oh, they have a drink with it. <laughs> you know, yeah. Maybe we're doing the cigar wrong. We need bourbon in our hands. That's not a bad deal. <laughs> but it is. It's a dry, it's, it's like you take a teaspoon of cinnamon and put yeah. it in your mouth and your tongue and everything's dry. Um, I agree, Robert. You know, Diamond Crown, you make some good sticks. I'm not knocking your product. But price point, Versus flavor is something every cigar smoker weighs in on. And uh, it's there, but it's not. Wow. I want to ask you a question of checking out your shoes. Do you have holes in your shoes? Do I? Yeah. I don't think I do. Then how'd you get your feet in? <laughs> <laughs> Joke of the week! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Didn't even see the joke of the week coming. And like I said, I knew it would be so. You know, I was expecting something way more raunchy than a, a blindsided joke. Look at that. I, mean, I was like, do I have holes in my shoes? Pretty sure they're solid leather, but no. You son of a bitch. God. There goes my dry mouth again. Gosh. The like, band came off without any problem. Well, that's because the cigar is dry. Mine has a little uh, issue with the band. Okay. I can see some discoloration. Really? Yeah. Well, that's because they sprayed the cigar after they put the band on. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Gonna get in trouble on this review today, boys. Um, band 
him off effortlessly. I'll agree with Robert on that. Yeah, just I expected a lot because I like the Maximus and I like the Julius Caesar a lot. So I expected that same kind of chocolatey Maduro that evolves and I just came up with like it's very chalky. There you go. That's you know what that's a very that's probably a lot better than the ash flavor I've described. That's a good way of saying it. It's chalky. It is. Because it's dry. Remember we were when we were I remember when the time I, when I was just trying to say something <laughs> and now my mouth's dry and I can't talk. We were early, we were saying we kind of tasted grit in our mouth when we first cut the syrup. Oh, that was something we got to point out. That was weird. Yeah. It was like uh, Pepito or whoever rolled this thing didn't clean his hands. <laughs> there was sand in my cigar, I swear. I know. <laughs> to me, I could taste the, as the, the asphalt, not the asphalt, but the sand of the Dominican. The, the earth, the earth, they put the earth in the cigar. Truly rolled by hand. <laughs> Dirty, muddy hands. <laughs> oh, boy. Can't catch a break today, Robert. Nope. No. But you know what? I gotta say, it's it's once again, it's my palate, your palate. But people have been commenting uh, that, and they always commented on my things. They like the honesty. Yeah. Absolutely. There's so many people just sit there and they get. Well, we, let me just right now because it it just popped in my head. Go for it. We get the cigars from the from the from the, the uh, companies or from the reps. So we don't want to really bad mouth the cigars. But we're not getting them anymore. Huh? The FDA stopped all that. So yeah. now the the Thanks companies- you non-voters out there. That's right. We get to be more honest. We <laughs> basically are buying the cigars yep. and the reps can't give us cigars anymore. Right. Which it, it almost, I'm sitting, I'm thinking, well, how can this work? And why didn't they fight for this? And I'm going, well, you know what? It affects their bottom line. Imagine these big companies like like General and Altidus and, and Fuente. Now they're not giving out cigars anymore. They can't give them out according yeah. to the FDA rules. That affects their bottom <laughs> line. Which means, imagine how much money they're saving. Imagine how much oh. money they are saving. Oh, tons. Every cigar has to have a cost, right? Yep. Every cigar has a cost. And you factor in, if 340 million cigars are sold in the U.S. a year, 360 million, whatever, I forget the exact number is, how many are freebies, were freebies, not tallied into that number? Because the company... Because every shop gets it. Okay. Used to. Yeah, every company still has to pay the tax on every cigar that they hand out. And the guy who rolls it, and the guy who puts it in the damn box, and the guy who inspects yeah. it. The guy who grows the leaf for freaking six months to a year. So I mean, it's crazy. Who's I, I know I'm very cynical at times, but sometimes I wonder who's really behind this FDA bullshit. You know what? And, and it's one of those things. Like I think not enough people are talking about it because they're scared to. And here, you know, political correctness it leaves that door. The second you walk in here, there's no PC. And I'll I'll be honest. I think a lot of this has to do. Yeah, in the front, in the yeah, the popcorn. Absolutely, popcorn. We have popcorn. Yeah, absolutely, pop piece. <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> you sir. It, it's one of those things where you sit there and go, "Who is behind it?" It's got to be the fact that they can generate tax dollars off of the cigar smoker now, because why else? There, there's no reason for the freebies and all the stuff that used to go on in this industry, which. Honestly, is how you expose your brand to the public. How, how do you? Yeah, just... So, so the new guy, which which affects the new guy, because the new guy comes in here with a new cigar, and we say, "Yo, I want to put my cigar in the humidor." And okay, can I get a sample? No, you it's have a dollar to, a cigar. It, it, you have to buy the samples now. Yeah. Now we have to buy the samples. And I'm like, well, then we, why would we put your cigar in our store? And that's and that affects the big guys because we already know what they, the cigar yeah, tastes like. Absolutely. So. Well, and let's be real here. The FDA is doing the big guys a favor, trimming the fat, baby. Yep. They are trimming out competition. And that's something in the cigar industry that a lot of the voters are not going against the FDA. And you guys have to stand behind this tobacco tax bill that's going to come in November. you got to talk about this. We have to. Being a California cigar shop that does California price cigars, if you voters, again, don't turn out for California and you don't vote against the tax that's coming up in November, don't complain to us when you come in and there's a stick that used to be $10, 
And you're now going to have to pay $15 to $18 more. That's right. Because guess what? We can't control it ourselves. If we could, we'd go against it. Absolutely. And it's going to affect it's going to affect California business oh, yeah. once again. Absolutely. And these guys are going to go out and it's going to buy them. And once again, the big companies are going to benefit because... Because online sales won't suffer. No. That's what a lot of you, co you consumers don't realize is that the big guys can afford to survive off of online sales alone. The brick and mortar shops, the shops like here, we have to have you guys coming in to keep the lights on and to support our industry. And then when you complain that, oh, where can, where can I smoke my cigar? I, can't, I don't know where to smoke it anymore. Because there's certain cities in California that don't allow smoking. Santa Monica, you can't even smoke in an apartment. Huntington right? Beach, you yeah. can't smoke on the sidewalk. You get, side, you get a ticket if you're walking and smoking down Huntington Calabasas, Beach. Calabasas, uh, Pasadena, and so when, when everything's gone, you can just sit there and... Say, Robert and Jacob told you so. That's right. <laughs> so that's my soapbox. Right? I, I hear you, man. We need the world's smallest violin for all our tears. Yes. <laughs> we'll come back at the end of this cigar. See if... Uh, I'm just getting leather tones still, by the way. That's, that's all I'm getting is leather tones now. If we could have kept that flavor profile the whole stick, I think this would be a home run for me. Get so, a little citrus right now. Citrus, interesting. All right, well, a little bit of a clash, a lot of fun. We'll see you guys at the end of the cigar. So uh, we're here at the end of the cigar review. We're wrapping it up, boys and girls. Robert, what do you got to say about this before we throw it in the ashtray? Friend, Romans, and countrymen, lend me your ear. <laughs> uh, this cigar, it's not a bad cigar. Uh, it got, actually, for me, it got better towards the end. Uh, I actually stopped tasting things. <laughs> so, I would just like to say that the way I... How do your customers when you walk? <laughs> <laughs> Dave Chapman, everybody. Dave Chapman. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> that up. Take two. <laughs> That's in there. We're running it. Um, the, way I look, the way I, when I go into a humidor, there's a lot of cigars I like. Uh, but how many am I willing to spend over $15 for? Good point. And that's the way I look at it. It's a good cigar. If it's your, if you got the finances and you like that flavor, that's beautiful. But for me, it has to be all around a great cigar and a good value for your money. Uh, and I don't, it's not, that's not my cigar. Yeah, I agree. And, and you know what, like I said, it could go back to, you know, we're such heavy Nicaraguan smokers that you give us a Dominican and it just lacks the full body punch to your palate flavor that we look for in a cigar. Because you and I, we like that. We yeah. like that, you know, heavy leather tones, cocoa tones, and you want that nicotine burn on the tongue. And this cigar, I agree with Robert, the flavor towards the end, I was getting those leather tones I really like to get in certain cigars. And I just wish that it had those tones this whole cigar, because then I could sit here and go, wow, that's a great smoke. I agree with you. It's not bad. It's just good. Yeah, and for a Maduro, I, I was expecting more. more yeah. Punch. Especially because their Maximus and Julius does have such a great flavor profile yep. for a Dominican cigar. So, I mean, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. It's a... Uh... And remember, wear your colors Wednesday. <laughs> We're down here every day, 118 West Wilshire Avenue, corner Harbor Wilshire in Fullerton. Come on any Monday morning. Uh, we're thinking of getting here even earlier, maybe 11 o'clock. Going to head down the back of the bar and shooting in the bar. Uh, come on down and join us. Grab a cigar. Tell us what you think. Absolutely. And we'd love to have you guys in here with us doing these reviews. And on top of it, Come in for football season. We'll have college football and NFL football. We got football. We got Gatorade. We got bourbon. We got cigars. <laughs> and uh, you know, and, and find out what we're doing. Come, what's happening? Come on down. Uh, you know, we every every week we got new stuff happening, new ideas. Come down, see what we're doing, and you know, jump aboard. Yeah. Sign up if you're not a member. Most of you watching this will be. Uh, if you are going to see these pop up on our website, we do have a new website up and running, 888cigarbar.com. 
You can subscribe to our email mailing list on the website. We'll add you here in the store and then you'll get access to all of our specials, videos, events, promotions. You get to see more pictures of Robert, some of Owen. No one wants to see that. <laughs> so come on down here at 888, guys. Thank you for watching another Two Chairs Battle of the Palace. Channel. Get more updates on these weekly reviews. That's right. What's better than that? Nothing. That's right.